Well, with Chuseok now only a week away, most of you probably have everything all planned out for the long holiday. But will the weather cooperate? Let's find that out by going over to our Lee Ji-hyun at the Weather Center. Uh, Ji-hyun, uh, so a lot of people expected to be traveling across Korea this Chuseok. Will the weather be favorable? Well, it seems like it's coming for central parts of the country anyway. A good amount of sunshine is expected over the holiday here in the capital, while the southern provinces and Jeju Island could have cloudy skies, meaning full moon might not be visible. And this year's Chuseok holidays will be relatively warm, but we still cannot rule out fine dust or the possibility of typhoon formation. And if you're traveling by transportation, it's good to know that the Korea Railroad Corporation. Has deployed about 350 additional KTX bullet trains and regular trains to reduce overcrowding during the holiday. And for those returning to the capital after Chuseok, subway and bus operations in Seoul will be extended to 2 a.m. on September 16th to 17th. Now we had better air quality today thanks to the sudden showers in Seoul early in the day, and for tomorrow air quality will remain at a normal level. But there could be a sudden showers. Once again, in many parts of the country, temperatures will be similar to today. So let's take a closer look. Daily low here in Seoul, Daejeon, Daegu, Gwangju will start out at 20 degrees Celsius. And as for the daily highs, Seoul will see a high of 27 degrees Celsius, while Gwangju tops out at 30. That's Korea for you, and here is the international weather for viewers around the world.